bothered about what could be coming every day we danced and life was smiling we were young and drunk in love a few years later i have started thinking if it's just love in every glass i'm drinking we're like one and without you i'm sinking and welcome to the Dordoin. We are here on holiday at the moment with our fresco holidays and in return for our stay I'm making some content for them but I thought I would do like a day in the life today so you can kind of see what it's like just staying where we're staying and what we get up to. So we've currently come to La Bouche. I think that's how you pronounce it. If anyone is better at French than me then please feel free to correct me in the comments down below but we have come to this area today where there's just loads of touristy stuff on and um it's just because the weather is a bit overcast it's still really warm and we want to do something fun with the kids so we're going to go to a place called park la Borna, i think it's called and they've got like animals and rides and like flowers and lovely gardens and places to eat so that's what we're going to do and then there's loads of other stuff around us as well there's like a prehistoric museum and an aquarium so we might come back to this section another day this week if the weather's not too great but yeah i thought i would bring you along and show you what we get up to oh i got you there's no reason to chasing pavement on my own because you're here to stay every night and day i'm delighted because i got you Hi, peacock. so we're in here now park la bona i think it's called as I said before, my pronunciation can be all over the place, but I think this is probably one of the quaintest places that I've ever been to in my life. It's so, so cute. It is meant to be like a, a recreation of like a French village and it is just gorgeous. There's animals, there's like little duck. Oh my gosh, there's yeah, ducklings. I was gonna tell you about this. Are they ducklings? Yeah, they're ducklings. Oh, there's a little baby duckling. Oh, let me show you one sec. Look at them. Yeah. How many has she got? Is there five? Six, I think. Six? I can't even deal with three. She's super mum. Sheepdog herding some sheep. Can you hear the whistle? It's what you do.
included in the price that we paid, you can go on really old school fairground rides. And we went on some sort of like merry-go-round before, which was built in the 1900s. Um, actually 1900, so gosh, it's so old, but it was beautiful. And at the moment, Mark, Phil and Daisy are on some sort of like Grand National horse race. And it reminds me so much of that scene from Mary Poppins. So funny. <laughs> Some might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner I used to be Cause now a wildfire is raging deep inside And my heart So before we head back to San Ovi Was is we are going to the Intermarche which we've not been to yet we went to a little when we first got here, but this is going to be like a bit more authentic, I think. We're going to pick up some food for tonight because I'm going to cook us dinner just because we've got the facilities there to do it and it means there's no rush then and we don't have to like rush out anywhere and get food later and also because a lot of the areas nearby you've got to drive to, hence the car. <laughs> um, we can both have like a drink tonight when the kids are in bed and we don't need to like worry about that because it's just a bit nicer then, isn't it? So. That's the plan. Without all kip within By these high walls I've been surrounded Walls to her eyes only paper thin Cause now a wildfire is raging deep inside So we're back from our little morning out. It was actually more than a morning. We were out for ages. We've been to the Intermarche and I thought I would quickly show you what we've got because I like stuff like this. So we got some bananas. These little things, like I remember having these as a kid, but these are frites crustillant or something like that. I don't know how you pronounce it, but they're like little tiny crisps. Um, I got some, oh, the fruit and veg here is amazing. I got some vine tomatoes, which smell like the tomatoes that my mum grows in her little greenhouse. You know, that like green smell. If you smell before, you'll know <laughs> what I mean. We picked up a pack of this, which is, it says it's tabbouleh with olive. And to be honest with you, it actually looks a bit more like couscous, but we thought it'd be good to have like as a side tonight. Got some hummus as well. Mark and Bill chose some salmon and then I went a bit crazy when it came to cheese. Let me show you where they are, right? So first one we've got is Edam because the kids all like that. We've got some Forme Diambe AOP. I don't even know what it is, but it looks like a soft sort of blue cheese and I really can't wait to try that. Um, I got some brie. I went to the um, deli and like tried to ask for it myself and I did a really bad job, but at least I tried. Um, but that was €2.45 and got a nice big chunk there. And what else do we get? A cucumber again, you have to pick your own, which was cool. And then a head of lettuce, like a certain type of leaf, I don't know which type it is, but it just looked amazing, really fresh. And uh, we've got some more olives with um, like peppers inside. And then these I'm excited about. These are, I think it's goat's cheese wrapped in sort of like prosciutto or something like that, parma ham. So I'm gonna fry those up in a frying pan later because we have like a hob and everything, which is really handy. And then meat wise I got some saucisson and some well this is a Mediterranean tapas platter actually so that is everything oh wait and the best thing that we got was a nice big bowl of French bread which feels and smells amazing and um, oh no, I've got two more things to show you actually here we got some innocent juice for the kids in the morning I got a bottle of 
Recolte 2018 from Provence. I don't, never had this before, but I'm sure it'd be very nice when I put it in the fridge. We also got these, which I wish they did at home. They're Kinder Bueno ice creams, and these are the mini cones, which are like perfect for the kids. And then we got some ice, and that's the cool thing about where we're staying with Alfresco is that you get your own freezer, and then you also get your own fridge, which we've already got like fruit and drinks in and that kind of thing, but it's just really handy to have. Love it. And I'm with 